Welcome to Talkin' Tigers. I'm Rachel Whitaker. It's another recruiting edition today, so we welcome in NOLA.com recruiting analyst James Smith. Jimmy, thanks for being here again. Absolutely, absolutely. Thanks for having me. Well, we continue to examine LSU offensive line developments for next season when a lot of this year's talent will be gone. So first, three-star recruit Matt Womack decommitted from LSU this weekend, uh, switching his pledge to Alabama. And Jimmy, this is a six foot seven, 320 pound guy who flipped. Is that a, a, a bad sign? Yeah, I think it's bad on, on multiple fronts. You know, it puts LSU in a, in a situation here. They're expecting to possibly lose some underclassmen offensive linemen as, as well as left tackle L. Collins. And, and his deep commitment and flip to Bama couldn't have come at the worst time for the Tigers on that front as well as the fact that we're entering the non-contact period. So LSU coaches can't even get on the horn with him right now to try to bring him back into the fold. So a bad break for the Tigers on the recruiting trail and, and one they really – it's going to be hard to handle and get past at this stage of the process. But however, a report has surfaced uh, on Monday that LSU is in Houston offensive lineman Toby Weathersby top three with Ole Miss and Arkansas. So how big a pickup would he be for the Tigers? Uh, he's 6'5 and 300 pounds, uh, especially since Womack's decommitting. You know, he's, he's a big time prospect. Uh, he's widely considered to be one of the premium offensive tackles in the country. He's a guy that could come in and play right away. He plays that far exceeds what Matt Womack sees um, at his school in, in Mississippi. So, uh, you know, they really surprised me, surprised many when they entered it. Uh, the wide receiver coach who's the in Houston, Texas, has done a quiet yet marvelous job getting this guy uh, in the fold at this stage of the process so it looks like it's coming down to a few schools i'm hearing lsu and arkansas uh appear to him to be possibly the best fits that's going to be interesting to see how that plays out with such little time i expect him to make an unofficial visit to lsu sometime in january and the tigers will definitely roll out the red carpet as the need is great to find an offensive tackle in this class <laughs> Most definitely. And as recruiting continues to heat up uh, this non-contact period, but then National Signing Day in just a couple months. Uh, so expect to hear more from James Smith on the show and around NOLA.com. Well, Jimmy, thanks for the recruiting update. Absolutely. Thank you. And thank you for watching Talking Tigers. See you again Thursday.